What's up guys, so I'm here doing a, another test of a new deck I built. Um, it's another kind of draw burn, but I'm not sure if I ever put one up. Um, it's focused on greed and cards that make my opponent draw. Or, you know, possibly make me draw, but it's also added in, or I've also added in um, appropriate. Which is whenever my opponent draws, I draw two cards. Um, <clears throat> found out through one test that um, greed affects both of us, so it could be iffy for sure. But um, so far, it's worked out pretty well. Uh, the one test I did was against chaos agents, which is kind of impossible to face. Heroes aren't that bad. So we should have a better chance here. For some reason, I'm still getting really bad FPS. Which is great. Which is beautiful. Gemini. Interesting. I'm going to probe through my processes. See what might be slowing me down. That's slightly better. I don't know, we'll, we'll hold that. I did get rid of greed though. Your own face up a little hard to run your control. Okay. So it's not a hero deck, it's a Gemini deck. That's interesting. Kind of hampers me not having greed right away, but we at least have a good wall. I don't figure something out. Alrighty. Let's see what we can get. Not half bad. This has kind of become a dead draw with my current luck. Maybe throw in some magical merchants. It wouldn't be half bad. Uh, we'll go for a cup of ace. So I've also got. Oh, a secret barrel wouldn't be half bad either. So I get to draw two. Um, go ahead and set appropriate since we don't have greed hurting us anymore. Um, Appropriate will be pretty nice. But we can one day then set the other defender, set hand destruction. So now with appropriate, it is pretty ridiculous pluses. And at least have Tragedia for that. Um, and we could hopefully start filling the graveyard too for uh, blasting the ruins to go off. We do that on the standby phase. His ability will activate. We should be able to... Huh. Oh, okay. So I can activate that now. And no, nope, we'll hold that. So it does run the risk of you know really setting up the opponent. But I think it has a good payoff. Uh, I had I found this idea through Reddit. There was a thread on a, a deck that uh, focused on Slifer. And, uh, you know, filling the hand and getting them out very quick. Um, <clears throat> using Appropriate, of course. No, we'll hold. So yeah, he's going to use that effect to destroy this. We'll go ahead and 
pop it. Why not? So that should give us a plus four. Um, I'm drop blasting in that for now. That and then give you one two. Beautiful. The supervise you. I think the Grave of Target 1 almost right here is special science. Cool. Oh, gets gear free. Okay. It's like 2800. You can at least kill Defender, but oh well. See here, we can also hold out. My property is pretty nice. I really like it. Just gonna mind control that one. Okay. I guess it does give him a Another level four. Earth, right? That's three level fours. That's scary. Scary beans. Wow. I'm impressed. But we pocket our scarecrow. And destruction still feeling very dead. I'm not I'm not getting it that I'm not getting the best things for that. So he's gonna pep operative. Their one defense position monster. Crap. <laughs> it will still only take one big hit. Me able to scarecrow. But that's going to become an issue. Yeah, honestly, with appropriate Darko dealings is far better than hand destruction. Well, yes, I do. I wish there was more things in this whole like making your opponent draw kind of set set up. You know, it'd be nice. Surprised he didn't do anything with those two either. That would have been quite beautiful. So we can Dark World Dealing. This wouldn't be a bad Exodia setup either. Now that I think about it. We'll discard that. Great, we get to draw two. We can set greed. Set that. And Hmm. Call that good. The pap operator. Well, I could I could have done that for the bait, but and I will lose Marshall Malone's effect because it's only when they attack the face down. It's a big matter of pluses, really, of what I can do. No, let's, let's hold. Maybe I'll target that one. This is using Supervise to drop on uh, Chevalier. I thought Gemini's would work out this well. This is pretty nice. Do that. If he targets threatening her, then we're good. Losing the greed is gonna hurt a little bit. Let's just see which one he. Thank you. Beautiful. We'll just activate that. Hold on to that. Supervise lets him drop more. No, we'll hold. I don't have to tell. I have a friend that has a really nice Gemini deck. Tell him about how well this works. It's pretty nice. Yep. 
Those were Shockmaster. <laughs> so we're most likely going to pick Trap, which I still have something to hold for that. For three turns. I can at least get a plus on that. This media player can activate cards as a specified type. I think I can at least chain greed to it. So that'll be out. I've got Scarecrow. Let's see, this one is just a war of attrition. <laughs> So I can drop bribe, uh, throw out cover vase, even if I hit a tails. He draws two, I draw two. You can set book of eclipse. Getting close to blasting the ruins. Good, good. Can't do bribe next turn. But, oh, Book of Eclipse will work nicely. Because I can actually do that in Chain to Shockmaster's effect. Ooh. And then he'll lose all of his materials. See if we can make him drop another Xyz. Book of the Clubs is one of my favorite very underrated cards. And it works so beautiful in a deck like this. See so yes, how he's gonna supervise. And chain that. A shockmaster is not up currently. Let me draw his card. I draw two. Very, very nice. I'm liking this for sure. It's gonna heavy storm. Ugh. We're gonna lose greed. At least drop that. They don't lose materials? That's sad. But I still don't think that's gonna get us up for blasting the ruins. Dang, I oh I thought Book of the Moon or anything of that sort, that's how it works. That sucks. Yeah, as much as I don't like that, this could use a Starlight Road. Monster cards. That's mean. Those are my hand traps, mate. There's the kicker for Broken Shining. And Rose for some reason. Because this is the level 4 tuner, it's not half bad. Why you do this? That might be game. I don't know why I can't math. Yeah, that heavy storm hurt. Thirty-one, twenty-eight. Yep. 
Oh well. But, not half bad. The deck needs work. That's one concept, though. I could probably drop Blasting the Ruins. It's a dead draw. <sighs> and instead, I had Cemetery Bombs and stuff like that. Um, we got this little box in the way. So one second, and then we'll do a quick profile. Alright, here it is. Um, as I said, I'm probably going to drop those. Um... And just throw in a bit more stall. Got the Tragis, which is really nice. Um, got one more Cemetery Bomb. Cemetery, okay. Uh, again, the hand instructions aren't that great either. I like Dark World Dings a little, a little more. Sorry, you get to see some live edits here. Um, and there's really not much else for making your opponent draw. You grab one more Eclipse. And... I suppose just some Thunders of Rulers. We'll save this. We'll look into kind of my myriad of stall things. Um, one more Scarecrow, and I think I only had two Roars, so maybe that'll work. Where are you? All the way up here. Oh, I have three Scarecrows. Three Roars, so we'll just do two Thunders of Ruler. I think Special Collapse could work well, though. It's one of my, my favorite little texts for stuff like this. So then you, you pretty much fill their hand, and they can't do anything with it. Alright. Sorry. Okay, so we've got two Tragedias, as again, you are drawing cards like crazy. And it's a very, very nice hand trap. Three defenders for some great walls. And again, your opponent draws cards during each of their standby phase, uh, setting off greed and appropriate. Um, three marshmallows for walls and burn. Morphing jar for the draw. Uh, scarecrows for stall. Uh, one day piece for stall and draw. Again, with that, um, you get a plus three and a turn of survival which is amazing. Um, three Cups of Ace, which, uh, if, you know, if you get heads, you draw two cards, if you get tails, and you have appropriate, then you draw two cards, your opponent draws two cards, and they have a potential of a thousand from Creed. Uh, card Destruction, which is pretty OP in this kind of thing, is that you get an extra two with appropriate, and uh, a good amount of damage from Greed, obviously. Um, three Dark World Dealings, which again, you get a plus three with appropriate and a little bit of burn. Uh, Book of Eclipse, which is amazing because your opponent you can draw up to five cards. You can get two, they can take 2,500. Um, it can shut shut things down during the attack phase for sure. Threatening Roar for um, stall. Cemetery Bomb for a little bit of burn. You know, it's not half bad. Spatial Collapse for a little bit of shutdown. Um, you know, you, you let them draw all these cards, they can only put five cards on the field. It's pretty amazing. It's one of my, again, a favorite little tech for a deck of this sort. Um, three appropriate three grades, which are kind of the uh, backbone of the deck. Um, this is whenever your opponent draws a card, you draw two. This is whenever a player draws a card outside of the draw phase, they take 500. Um, so again, it can heavily backfire, but... Without it, this deck doesn't have much to stand on, for sure. Um, there's a lot more of your opponent drawing cards than you drawing cards. So yeah. And then again, uh, three Dark bribe, dark Bribes for a negation. Uh, your opponent draws a card, you draw two. It's pretty pretty nice. Um, you can fill your hand pretty well. Um, yeah, other than that, I thought of like tucking in um, some Macrocosmoses. And then there's a DD Dynamite... 
which is a 300 for each of the removal play cards. Um, buffed up version of Cemetery Bomb, if I could get that in there. And also Macrocosmos really shuts things down. Which is something I might think about, for sure. Instead of running Greeds, you fill their hand. Macro for other things. I don't know. I'll figure it all out. I'll run this through some testing. But anyway, that is it. I hope you enjoyed, learned a little something, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.